Hey guys, happy Saturday. I don't know about you, but this pandemic is making me lose track of what day it is. I had to tell myself several times today that it was Saturday. <laughs> so happy Saturday. Callie and I wanted to bring you guys some hope today. Um, yesterday we started learning about the blood of Jesus and I wanted to give you another follow-up story to that from Marilyn Hickey through the Bible app on the devotion that she has created. Today it's called The Blood, Our Agent of Purification and Central Supply. As blood moves through your system, it removes waste material from your body. Likewise, the Bible explains that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's 1 John 1, 9. In case you want to look these up. This cleansing is powerful. Jesus warned the Pharisees, For you were like whitewashed tombs, which indeed appear beautiful outwardly, but inside are full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. Matthew 23, 27. The Pharisees were supposed to be the super spiritual, but they did not believe Jesus was the Messiah. So they were questioning everything he did. So he was saying that they are like whitewashed tombs with dead bones on the inside. They look great. They look like they're super spiritual but they are dead on the inside. That's Matthew 23, 27. The cleansing power of the Lord's blood purifies our hearts from the inside out. Just as your blood carries away waste from your system, Jesus shed blood removes the filth of sin and uncleanness from your daily life. His blood purifies your heart's perfectly so that you can actually become a temple of God and we have to ask him to cleanse us every day it's not just one and done it's every day blood is also the central supply to each of your body's cells of which there are millions of cells in our bodies did you know that each cell in your body receives new blood new life every 50 seconds think about that that blows my mind it's really hard to imagine our blood our body receives new blood every 50 seconds that's crazy to me the life-giving substance of blood constantly supplies your body with strength to continue living the shed blood of Jesus gives us continual life too. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day. John 6, 54. Through the blood of Jesus, you now have a full supply of abundant life, divine eternal life that sprang forth the moment you were born again when you asked Jesus into your heart. From that moment, you stepped into a new life. The life, of, the life of God became your life to sustain and strengthen you forever. That means you do not have to fight battles, worldly battles in your own strength. You can let God fight them for you because his strength is in you. I wanted to tell you, um, I have learned over the past year or so uh, many of you or most of you will know what communion is and I have learned that you don't have to wait for the pastor at church to uh, have communion in the church service. I was, I was raised in church. I thought that's what you did. You waited on the pastor to say it's time for communion and we were eating um, his flesh and blood, so to speak. Um, with the flesh, it is comparable to partnering with Jesus 
and um, partnering with what he's done in our life, through our life, and continues to do with us. So you're partnering, I have learned, uh, with his plan when you eat the bread and eat the flesh, so to speak, you are partnering with what he's doing. His flesh is your flesh. Um, then the blood of Jesus, as we have learned, covers a multitude of sins. And we pray every day for the covering of the blood of Jesus over us and our family and our neighborhood and our city, state, and nation in this world um, to heal us from this pandemic. So I wanted to recommend to you, I've started doing this about a year ago now, I was taught that you can have communion anytime you want. You can have it every single day. You can do it at your home. It doesn't have to be blessed by your pastor or priest or church leader. God is in you and with you, and you can have alone time with Him and have communion with Him. And when you do that, I uh, started about a year ago doing it every day at home. And by doing that, it draws you closer to Him. It connects you with Him and brings your attention and awareness back to Him. So I would encourage you, especially during this pandemic, as you're praying for this pandemic to go away and God to heal those with the disease and comfort those who have lost people to it and all our health care people and um, essential people that are having to work through this for us, um, I would encourage you to pray over them um, and do communion and uh, let that connect you with God as we are praying against all of these things. So hope that inspires you today. Be blessed um, and know that I'm covering you in prayer. We'll see you tomorrow.